Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 7, I think we are on. <laughs> uh, today I'm starting this vlog a little bit later. It is early afternoon, and uh, I had a client session this morning. I went to someone's home and we went through her closet, made her new outfits from what she already owned, and a, made a shopping list, made a list of things that need to go for alteration. It was all good fun. Uh, so I apologize that you, you know I would love to bring you guys along, but just filming in someone's house to me is just completely inappropriate for a private session. So I'm starting with you guys this afternoon. So I changed now that I've gotten home. Um, my hair was just looking a little crazy when I got back. Not that it's looking fantastic right now, but <laughs> I threw it up in this uh, scrunchie and I'm not really sure what I've done, but anyway, it is what it is. I actually found this spectacular bag of scrunchies on Amazon because I mean you can find everything on Amazon and I think there were 48 or 50 scrunchies that came in this like bag for $19 or something and if you're looking for a great stocking stuffer or a gift for someone that really likes to put their hair up or whichever I thought it was great like the I'll show you guys the bag later on the amount of color in it is insane and I like that it has like darker neutrals like browns and stuff I don't know, I'm, I'm loving the bag, great little buy. Uh, okay, so the other thing that I changed into for my casual wear, uh, number one, I've got this sweater that's almost becoming a little bit too big on me now. And yes, I will talk about all my lifestyle changes. I'm getting so many questions from you guys in the comments about that. Yes, it is coming. Um, my days have just been kind of busy, so I haven't had time to sit down and properly talk to all of you about it, but I will talk about what I have been doing in depth. I will show you meal. Uh, examples we're just gonna chat about everything it will be coming in a vlogmas video I promise so just hang tight but we will discuss it okay <laughs> uh, so yeah I'm wearing this sweater that I picked up from ASOS uh, a couple years ago it was oversized even then but now it's it's bordering on almost looking sloppy so I do have it tucked into my uh, black jeans with a belt at the moment which I think is okay but yeah it's kind of bordering on a little bit a little bit messy but it is comfortable which is why I'm wearing it and it's part of my color palette which is also why I'm wearing it so yes I have this Tahari belt you guys see all the time I'm wearing some guess I believe these are called the power curve jean if I am not mistaken just nice easy black basic I'm wearing these little leopard print kitten heel booties from Sam Edelman also had these for a couple of years now I actually got them on I think it was a Black Friday sale if not it was a Boxing Day sale a couple of years ago, but they're so comfortable and I just love a little shot of print when you're wearing a bunch of You know neutral classic items you can't ever go wrong And then I'm wearing my Club Monaco Daylina coat, which you guys have seen a thousand times This is one of those classic jackets that Club Monaco always carries in a different color or cut or print I have it in gray as well. I just love it. It's such an elegant coat when it's done up I think it's really pretty so anyway that is all she wrote. I didn't even replace the earrings that I took out this morning. We are just being, oh, I have to put my rings on. I didn't have them on today. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm gonna put my rings on. But other than that, we're very, very simple and casual. And little miss is on her bed behind me. Because she always sits in here when mama's about to go out because I gotta run some errands. Don't ya? Yeah. Hi, honey bunny, we're feeling very sleepy. She actually had an adjustment with her chiropractor this morning. She sees someone every two weeks. He comes to our house really early in the morning and gives her an adjustment. And it's been super helpful, huh? Yeah, you get adjustments like mama and papa. Anyway, the reason I changed, aside from just wanting to be a little bit uh, more casual, is because I am about to go run some errands. I actually have to run to the grocery store because I have my book club coming over to my place it's my turn to host because we all there's five of us five yes there's five of us and each for each book we read we shift locations and one like someone else will host this month we actually didn't do a book club or sorry didn't do a book sorry because christmas is so busy um and just with our schedules and some people traveling it just wasn't going to work out like it was only going to be a two-week difference between our last meeting and this one so we were skipping it, but we've decided 
it would be a fabulous idea to have some wine and food together and we're doing a secret Santa, which is so much fun. So I just want to go out and prep for some of it. I just want to grab some wine. I want to grab some food for charcuterie boards and like snacks and nibblies and stuff like that that we'll have through tonight. But we're just gonna have some good old fashioned festive fun tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to that. But tomorrow I have uh, a really busy day. So I wanted to knock out some of it this afternoon uh, just to get it out of the way now just so I don't feel like I'm having to run around and whatever do all the things tomorrow I just I find that when I'm I have people coming over and I'm sure a lot of you are like this I like to spend my time like doing some last minute tidying or cleaning and not having to run around like a chicken with my head cut off trying to run errands before people come over especially on a work day because um, I do have a busy day tomorrow so I want to just yeah, feel chill and get all that stuff now, or yeah, now, and then do the cleaning, like minimal cleaning and all that kind of stuff uh, tomorrow before everyone comes over. So we're gonna head to the grocery store together. I'm gonna go pick up a little bit of booze. <laughs> and then I am going to tackle uh, some more work that I have to do this afternoon. So let's go shopping. Okay, I thought I'd do a quick little grocery haul, cause why not? <laughs> I picked up some things I tend to always pick up if I'm entertaining. Um, I'm a big fan of charcuterie boards. I think they're great. They're kind of like an elegant snack. Not that snacks need to be elegant, but I just find they're easy. There's something for everybody. So, uh, things I got. Number one, I picked up some Skinny Pop. I love this stuff, but I picked up this time in this sweet and salty kettle corn. So I got that, thought I could put it in a little bowl for everybody. I also picked up some pretzel crisps just to put with like either eat by itself or to eat with some of the cheese and meats that I got. I did want to find some chocolate covered pretzels because uh, there are a few things I'm going to have to pick up tomorrow just to make sure they're fresh. I couldn't find some chocolate covered pretzels so I'm going to get those tomorrow. I'm going to go somewhere else. But these are so yummy. So I got those as well. Uh, I picked up some artichokes, just some... They are like artichoke hearts. They do have some kind of marinade they're sitting in, but I'm gonna be making a really, really easy, but so delicious garlic and artichoke dip tomorrow. So I'm gonna give you guys the recipe for that. Trust me, if you are entertaining it all over the holidays, it is the freaking easiest thing to do. And uh, oh my God, everybody loves it. So I'm gonna be making that tomorrow. So I'll show you that. I got some fresh pears, uh, the boat, is it Boschka pears or Bosch pears? I'm not sure. Uh, so I'm gonna be chopping those up for the charcuterie board. I just got some Kleenex, I need to pick up some Kleenex. And then to keep the meats really simple for the charcuterie board, I always pick up something like this, usually just one large container with a bunch of stuff. So in here we've got a uh, hot salami, Copa di Parma, I believe is how you say it, mild Genoa salami. Is that how you say that? I'm not sure. And uh, prosciutto, or prosciutto, is that how you say it? Uh, again for the charcuterie board tomorrow. I've got two cheeses. These are my favorites that I go to. I have some brie also in the fridge already, so I'm gonna put that out also. But guys, okay, if you're gonna have a glass of wine at the end of the night, like yours truly, you need to have this cheese on hand, okay? This is my favorite. It is applewood smoked cheddar. Oh my God. Life changing with a glass of wine. <laughs> I also picked up this jalapeno gouda also phenomenal is really good with like crackers and stuff like that i couldn't find the little like crispy baguette crackers i wanted so that's the other thing i'm going to pick up tomorrow and then four boards are just in little bowls in general i like to have some nuts i've just got some chocolate covered almonds and peanuts and things like that that i'm going to put on the charcuterie board and again just in like little dishes for nibbly bits and then the same thing goes for the last bit that I picked up at the grocery store, which is some fresh fruit. Because you can never go wrong with 
something like that. And worst case scenario, I have some chocolate chips in my cupboard and I've got a fondue pot. So if we really want to go there, we could make some chocolate like fondue, um, which I don't, I probably imagine we probably won't, but you never know. I've got that stuff just in case. And then I went to the liquor store and I just picked up three bottles of the same wine because I already have Prosecco here. Uh, and then a bottle of champagne, I believe, or is it Prosecco as well? I can't remember, but I've got Prosecco here already, but I also grabbed three bottles of this wine, the Robert Mondavi uh, Private Selection, this is their Cab Sauve, but it's aged in bourbon barrels. This was actually something that Paula and Shemek had Sean and I try at their home, oh God, like many moons ago, probably a year ago now, and we love it. It is a very, very full-bodied red wine, which is my preference with wine. I like, yeah, medium at the bare minimum, but full-bodied wines are really my thing. I like it with uh, like heavier berry notes, uh, typically for me, but um, so this one's got black cherry and blackberry. And yeah, the age like bourbon barrels, uh, bourbon whiskey barrels, sorry. It sits in for apparently at least three months. This wine is phenomenal. If you can go pick it up, do yourself a favor and go do that. So good. So anyway, that's it for the grocery goodies. Tomorrow I'm gonna go pick up some, like I said, like the chocolate covered pretzels, the little like crispy baguettes to have with like the like cheese and meats. And then I'm gonna pick up a French baguette to do with the dip that I'm gonna be making. And I think that's it. So it's really just the like, I because I want fresh bread. Obviously I don't want it sitting overnight, so I'm gonna get that tomorrow uh, before everyone comes over. And I think really that's, I think that's it. I don't think I'm missing anything else. But yeah, I will show you the dip recipe tomorrow. It's actually one that my stepmom showed me because we were all, we all go like ballistic for it when we have family get togethers. And so I asked her for the recipe which she gave me and it is like laughably easy. It's ridiculously easy, but everyone raves about it every time you make it, so. I have now made it for quite some time after she gave me the recipe and make it every time I either go somewhere <laughs> and have to bring food or I have people over because everybody freaking loves it. It's so good. So I will show you that, I'll show you that tomorrow. So I'm gonna quickly put all this stuff away and then I need to hunker down and do some work. Cause even though it is the afternoon now, broaching around like three o'clock. Oh, and I need to have lunch. I am really hungry. I'm gonna have some leftover broccoli and cheddar soup. You guys will have to let me know if you make it and if you enjoy it. But I'm gonna have some soup first and then I'm going to hunker down. You guys, sorry, you're a little bit low here. Let me see if I can fix ya. I've got you standing on top of a candle and whatnot because I forgot my tripod somewhere in the house. <laughs> anyway, I was just having my soup and uh, anyway, the door rang and I got a package delivered and it's a treat. I got a little Prezi for myself um, because, well, I feel you should give yourself Prezi's now and then, but it was actually because I wanted something that I have very limited resources on right now. And I don't know if you can tell from the bag, but it's from Gucci. <gasps> oh my gosh. So, backstory. Or actually not even, it doesn't require a backstory. But because I've lost weight, I wanted, well, a lot of my stuff doesn't fit anymore. It just doesn't. So it's been an interesting journey over the past little while to just see what I have available to me, um, what I can make work. We're gonna go through like a whole closet process as well uh, through Vlogmas together just so, yeah, if any of you are going through the same thing, you can see what I'm doing. Um, but one of the things that I've been holding off on for, oh my gosh, when did the Gucci belts become a thing? It's like two or three years ago, I feel like. Um, I wanted one, but I always knew in my mind that I was going to get healthier. And I'll, again, I'll talk about all this stuff when I talk about what I've done, but I really wanted one of their belts. So I got one. I love their packaging, I always think it's so nice. Um, now, what I got for this one instead, because I have the brown one that I wear all the time, not that it's Gucci, it's just the Ellie Tahari one, and that in itself is looking rough. I've punctured it numerous times since then. But, I have a brown one I like, or at least I'm using that one in the meantime. So what I got for myself, oh my gosh, it's in so much packaging. <laughs> Hold on a second, let me see if I can open this. Oh, I love it! Oh, so I got an off-white, almost like creamy colored belt. It is freaking 
beautiful. It is an inch and a half long. And I think this is, what size is this? I want, it's for your waist, like the small of your waist, not for like your hip belt. Although if I really wanted, I could probably just puncture another hole in here and do that. Um, but I always wear my, like I have high-waisted jeans all the time that are pretty close to the small of my waist, if not sitting right there. And then all of my dresses and like culottes and wide leg pants, everything is high-waisted. So that's typically where all my belts are gonna sit anyway. But for me, I wear a lot of cream. I do wear white as well, but even my white boots that you guys have seen are more of an off-white almost cream as well. So I didn't want a stark white belt. I might do something like that in the future, but probably not an investment one. But for something like this, I know I will use it all the time. So I wanted to get a nice investment belt. I've never had one before. Um, so I've been saving for it. And now that I've, you know, reached a destination that I feel very happy with uh, in terms of like my lifestyle journey, I wanted this one. So I'm really happy and excited it came out. I actually forgot that I had done this. I ordered it on Black Friday, not that, I mean, Gucci, I don't think they do any sales as far as I'm aware anyway. But uh, yeah, I'm so excited. I'm really, really happy about this, guys. Oh, the quality's beautiful. The stitching's really nice. Actually, the stitching's beautiful. Really, really beautiful. So yeah, I'm just feeling like a lucky ducky right now. Oh, this is so awesome. So it's been a couple years in the waiting, but I've saved and I bought one. I'm very excited. Um, so yeah, we'll see. I. Whatever, I'm gonna talk about my journey later on with you guys. I know it's like, as I said earlier, it's the question that I keep getting often, but I love this. I mean, I could wear it with exactly what I'm wearing today, like the black and uh, brown that I've got on if I want to splash of something. Um, I might get a like a tan belt or my camel color later on, because my other belt's in such a sad state, the one that I'm wearing right now. <clears throat> it's like literally falling apart. But that's okay, I'm gonna keep rocking it until it does fall apart completely and then I will get a different belt and decide what I want at that time. But I'm so happy with this. Now Gucci does have ones that are thinner. Yeah, they are a little bit smaller in terms of the width of the actual belt. I think they're more around half an inch if I'm not mistaken. So this one is a little bit more dominant. But I just love it. I think it's so fantastic. And they do have different logos. Some people have a problem with the logo thing. For me personally, it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't matter. It's not one that's like overly obnoxious. And I have seen actually ones that they've got like different stones in this portion. I actually think it's really cool. And I've seen ones that have pearls in here, which I love even more, which again, not like normally I'm not a pearl gal, but actually that belt by them, I do, I do really enjoy. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Yay. So just for reference, in case anyone doesn't know belts, when you're sizing them, it's meant to be sized so that the belt is clasped in the middle hole because there's four on this one, so it should be right in the middle, or sorry, five, my apologies, um, belt notches. So it's your belt loop to fit correctly should always be in the middle one. Um, not that it has to be, but it should be, it should be there. So I'm gonna try that on later. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited though, I'm so happy. Yay! So it's a little like Christmas-ish treat for myself, because I don't know if Sean and I are gonna do gifts this year, which I think I already explained to you guys, but, um, yeah, this is just a little treat to me. What did you want, my honey? We trying to tell mommy. Can you guys hear her silent cry? What? <laughs> <laughs> Are you being dramatic? Is this how you let me know it's time? Is it time? <laughs> what? <laughs> Come on, you can show me. <laughs> honey. Baby, what's up? Oh, good tall, look at that, on the hind legs. <laughs> Is it time for dinner, honey? <laughs> well, I know that's how you tell me. Are you ready? Do you think we should go? Okay, let's go, let's get dinner. Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay, let's go, baby, come on, come on. Come on, let's go. So excited. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. A couple of you were asking what Jasmine eats. She eats raw food. Tonight it is salmon. And as you can tell, she hates it. 
Okay, honey. can you sit? Oh, went the extra mile, good down, here you go. You're so funny, baby. Anyway, it is now 6 p.m. I've just been working away for the uh, afternoon. I just, just finished uh, most of my day's work. Um, I'm trying now to, excuse the flyaways, uh, to like actually break off from work come the evening because with my job and like social media and like if any of you are entrepreneurs out there, you know you can always work more. And I was brutal before and I would work into like, I don't know, until the late hours. I mean, I think you guys saw last year on Vlogmas, I would work sometimes till 10, 30, 11 p.m. at night. And it was ridiculous. I was feeling completely burnt out at the end of last year. And it was one of my goals this year to try and disconnect a little bit more from social media at the end of the day and to make like a definitive end to my work day just to create some sanity for me and so that I was still having some personal time. So I'm not brilliant at it yet, but I'm trying and I have gotten much, much better, which is awesome. So I'm actually just waiting for Sean to get home right now because I was starting to make a spaghetti squash marinara and had to stop because when I went to go cut up the spaghetti squash to put it in the oven, the inside was rotten, so weird. So anyway, Sean was stopping to pick up beer <laughs> for himself and now that our grocery stores in Canada carry beer because we're not like the US, that wasn't the case for us for a very long time, uh, he's gonna pick up the spaghetti squash for me at the, at the same time. So I'm just waiting for him to get back so I can cook some dinner for us. But yeah, we're gonna just have some dinner and get cozy. Uh, sorry, I don't know what you guys have like watched today. I know some Vlogmases are gonna be more exciting video wise than others, but I just wanna say that I really appreciate all of you that watch Vlogmas. I like that we all get to hang out in this kind of informal manner. It gives me a break um, from like all the sit down stuff and I really like being able to interact with you guys just both in the comments and in the videos this way. I think it's a lot of fun and I so appreciate that all of you take time out of your day especially over Vlogmas when there's so many videos to even watch to begin with because the reality is, is everyone leads busy crazy lives so the fact that I'm in your home and you give you know 20 minutes of your time or whatever however long the video may be a day it's just so special and I thank you for that. It's, yeah, it's just the nicest thing on the planet. So thank you. I hope you guys enjoy the videos and um, yeah, I just love you guys that we get to hang out. It's just such a cool thing. <laughs> it's one of the reasons I continue to do Vlogmas every year is because it just ends up being, it, I don't know, it just holds a special place in my heart. I like that. I mean, I love all of my subscribers and all of you that subscribe to my channel, but my Vlogmas peeps, you got a special place in my heart. <laughs> So anyway, I will uh, touch base with you guys again once Sean gets home and I can start cooking us some dinner. Oh wait. Jasmine, you done? Not moving so fast now that we've had dinner, huh? Yeah. Oh, was that good? Do we say some good num nums? Yep. You're gonna end up falling asleep now, I know it. Yeah, after your meal you always go and have a nap. <laughs> She's so funny. And in case any of you are wondering, she's limping a little bit because she's such a spaz when she goes outside. And the other day, like during the power outage, she was like running to our back door. Uh, actually, she was running like through that like opening in the back. And because that was an addition that the previous owners put on the house, like that section, there's a return air, uh, is it called a vent or like return air, whatever. Uh, in that area that's quite big and because our power was out as she was running she didn't see the opening for it and one of her legs slipped through so we think she just sprained a muscle the chiropractor that came here this morning had a quick peek at her and said she's fine and he said like obviously if it continues that she can go get an x-ray but from what he could tell she seemed like totally okay and she is like way way better so we've just been trying to lift her up everywhere we go to make sure she's okay and we're monitoring her obviously close um, Next one, make sure my little fur baby is okay. So just, yeah, in case any of you are wondering why she's limping, that's why. So she was obviously, she screeched a little bit when she had done that, but um, yeah, she's doing much better. Anyway, I'm rambling, I'm sorry I tend to do that. So I will wait till Sean gets home and then we're gonna cook some, we're gonna cook some dinner and just have a little bit of a quiet night. Hello, beautiful people. Uh, it is now seven o'clock, Sean is home. 
He's got little Jay on his uh, lap there. And uh, I went to go make his dinner and as I literally put, like I've defrosted some ground beef, I put the spaghetti squash that Sean brought home in the oven. I realized that like all our sauce that we use, like we'd had in the fridge, was expired but not like a little bit expired like super super expired so much so that like we've actually eaten it already expired and we didn't even realize anyway so long story short we've chucked it all out what a waste of money and uh now we've ordered pizza <laughs> much to i think sean's happiness because he will eat pizza any time of day even if it's cauliflower pizza yes yeah i get us a cauliflower crust but it's like it's pizza pieces cauliflower crust it's not all cauliflower it's just like a healthier alternative i think they still have flour in it like there's definitely something in it still yeah cauliflower <laughs> yeah that's good you said it wasn't bad <laughs> anyway um so we're waiting on our pizza also when sean got home jasmine uh ran over to like the door freaking out because she's always so happy when he's home and kind of squealed like her paw was bothering her and like she started shaking and like let her paw hurt so i don't know i don't know whether she just like re-triggered like the muscles are already sensitive or what but to be on the safe side i've scheduled her for a bed appointment first thing tomorrow morning and we're gonna have them x-ray her leg just to be safe because I don't want her like obviously walking around if her paw is sore and it needs a, like needs some serious attention. So I just feel bad for her. So anyway, that'll be one of the things I do tomorrow now. It's kind of tweaked my schedule a little bit, but that's okay. One of the few blessings of being an entrepreneur is if you've got to do something, you can, hopefully. Yeah, so I just hope she's okay. I know she always freaks out when she goes to the vet because every time she's gone, it's never been for something good. She's had like so many teeth pulled. She's had kidney stones over the years for surgery. Or somebody doesn't come back. <laughs> well, she doesn't know that. Oh yeah, she was there when we put Oscar down. We we did, we brought her when we put Oscar down because we've read online, or I read online, that sometimes when the animal goes with you, they understand that the other like animal has passed on or is no longer with us. So yeah, she was there when we put Oscar down last year, so that's true. Anyway, she's not a huge fan of the vet, so. Anyway, hopefully it'll be good and it is just a sprained muscle. I hope it's nothing serious, but anyway, we're just taking extra precautions for her in the meantime and it'll just be good to get clarity and peace of mind knowing that she's okay. So, Sean right now has The Office on, one of his favorite shows. Actually, I quite like it too. It's really funny. Any Office lovers out there? It's such dry humor, but it's so good. Uh, so we're just watching that, waiting for the pizza to come. And I don't know that anything else much of like anything else that's eventful is gonna happen tonight, but we we will see. Obviously we're gonna open the advent. Hopefully it's a TIE light tonight. <laughs> what are you laughing at? You. What? Because what? You know, like forty percent. I know. It's not a very it's not very good. It's as good as the Leafs. The Leafs, yeah. I we're not hockey fans anyway though. <laughs> Sorry, Paula. Uh, okay, anyway, we are, I'm gonna wait for the pizza and I'll touch base with you guys later. Okay, angels. Oh, look at this. <laughs> look at that flyaway. Uh, okay, anyway, uh, it is now 8.30. <laughs> Can you see this? How ridiculous is that? It's like a side alfalfa thing. Okay, anyway. We are going to open today's advent, see what is in store for tea today. So let's spin you around. Okay, so we are on day seven. Oh, at least I can see that one, plain in sight. Okay, so for today we have sweet tart. Oh, Sean, you might like this one. It's a sour cherry blast. We shall see. It dawned on me also that the reason I may not be sleeping as brilliantly over the past little while, because it's been about a week, is because I'm having these teas at nighttime. So if I sleep poorly again today, because, oh no, this one's caffeine free. That's good. But it dawned on me that if I not if I don't sleep well, then I might have to <laughs> change the time I have my teas. All right, let's brew a cup of tea. This one actually sounds really good. Let's see how it goes.
exhale moment of truth. It does smell like it's got a tartness to it. It actually smells really good. It's not bad. Again, something that I personally would not go buy. I wouldn't have a cup of it again. <laughs> uh, but it's not bad. It's not like, oh my god, yesterday's green tea was horrible. Horrible, horrible. No offense to anybody that likes it out there, but look, that was disgusting. Um, this one's not too bad. Like I said, just not my not my flavor. I'm so particular with tea. I don't know if that's like the Brit background that my family has, but like I'm good with the plain old cup of tea, man. <laughs> or like something that's got like a semi-sweet aroma, but like there's not actually much sweetness to the tea. I don't know, that's just not my it's not my vibe. So I don't know that I'll finish it, we'll see. I'll have a few more sips and see how I get along with it, or get on with it, sorry. But yeah, it's just not my thing. Maybe I need to have you start having the teas. Why? I don't, I'm not even a tea person. I know, you know, yeah. You open up that beer advent calendar and I'll crush it for you. <laughs> uh, Jasmine's sitting down below. She seems to be doing better now that she's calmed she down. Huh? No, it's just a legs to Well, at least we're going to the vet with her tomorrow. So you guys will be journeying with me on that. I'll let you know how Jasmine does. Um, at least it's the end of the night, so I know she's just gonna sleep, like she won't do anything, and she's not uh, crying or anything. So, yeah, I hope her little paws okay. Yeah, we're just watching The Crown. We're currently on episode... 21. Shut up. We're on epi <laughs> episode eight. Apparently there's only 10 in the season, or that's what Sean told me. So we're getting near the end, which I hate, because then you have to wait, what, a whole year before you get to watch something again? Although the actress that's doing Princess Margaret is doing a fantastic job. I always forget that what, what that woman's name is. She played like the bad witch in Harry Potter. Well, she's been in a bunch of stuff. All I know is she killed Sirius Black. <laughs> and what, you don't forgive her for it? Oh, I don't care. Anyway. <laughs> Um, I'm not really sure what you guys have watched it. I'm really, uh, like, I'm sorry. Like I've told you guys, sometimes vlogmas or like vlogs are kind of like this. It's just day-to-day -day life. And I had so much like work I had to get done today. So trying to like film in between while I was just doing uh, like stuff online for some of my clients and then just some back-end stuff. It just, I mean, why would you guys want to watch that, honestly? So I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. Hopefully tomorrow will be much more of a productive day. I've got a the book club like girls night that I'm doing. I'm gonna be tidying up here beforehand, and I still have to do a little bit of shopping just for some things. What are you showing? Are you showing your kill series bud? <laughs> <laughs> nice. But yeah, I have a little bit of shopping to do tomorrow. I'm gonna take Jonathan to the vet. I do have work to do as well, so it's now gonna become a busy day, I think. But uh, yeah, I will touch base with you guys tomorrow. So thanks for joining with me on this random vlog. I so appreciate it. I'm sending you guys all the love to the moon and back and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye guys. <laughs>